Um, it's crazy that it comes out this year. Yeah. yeah. I almost feel like it won't. I don't, or or it's been in development for a long time yeah, already. Exactly. And they just kept it secret. All right. And last time when we were playing Diablo, we went to the Sand Maggot Lair, ah. where we got the Staff of Kings. The Staff of Kings is this staff. Right. Now we have to get the headpiece for the Staff of Kings. Oh, we're making a making a staff. Making a staff, and the staff will let us into Talrasha's tomb. But it's uh, basically we're just playing Anthem with less flying. Less flying, more walking. Huh. <laughs> I did do some grinding, like I said to you, until it got too scary. So that I could level us up. But in the process of grinding, I found us this kick-ass staff. Yeah, you said you were grind trying to grind, but then... But then I almost died. Yeah, and if we would die... I don't know what I would have said. I would have, been, I would have had to get my character up to that level so again. So ashamed, without. yeah. I probably wouldn't have told you if I could have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I found a really good staff in my grinding. So we are slightly more powerful. And we have this... Look at this spooky mask. Woo. Yeah. I like it. Whoa, kill those... Are those bug hordes? Swarms of flies. Or, yeah, we're a bunch stronger than we were last time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this staff I have also... Uh, like, every time I get a kill, it gives me mana back. And we're, we're in a much better position than we were last time. And we're up to level 24. So that means only six levels left until we get to be our true selves. A lost city. <laughs> oh. There's a curse of darkness that's plaguing this place now. Oh, man. Yeah. I know. I have to solve the curse of darkness by killing the Claw Viper Magus. Obviously. The Claw Viper. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. Still very fragile, though. I can kill, I just also can die. Ouch! You feel healthy. I feel really healthy. Is that just like a, a well of health Man, potion? Of health po yeah, whatever the red vial is full of. <laughs> That's nice. Well of life. I bet it's delicious. I, but I don't even know if I'm drinking it. Like Maybe I'm just like pouring it on me. Mm. Or it's like a topical cream. You're just like rubbing your face in it. Pretty much. Find that waypoint. Poison out here is so strong. 
because of all the darkness. I think darkness does make poison more powerful. Mm -hmm. Official science. The guys throwing the poison at us are called Night Slingers. Of course they are. They're drug dealers. See, they're slinging darkness. Mm -hmm. I think they're slinging because of darkness. You think? I don't think you can sling actual darkness. I think you can. They'd be more skilled than I. <laughs>
Thanks, All Star Dark. We Jeez. appreciate that. It's uh, I've been is having it, trouble with our mic. Is it just if the mic's been going for like an hour and a half? <laughs> oh no, it's really weird. It just freaks out after a while. It does seem to. It's now it's reliably happening in the second half. At the beginning of the second half. Yeah. So, well, no, yesterday it was right at the end. Oh, was it? Okay, so it's. I I really don't know. Yeah. But we just gotta remember to check it. Or just to unplug and plug in. But thanks, All Star Dark. We appreciate it. Funny, because I literally said I'm just going to start plugging in and unplugging at the beginning of every second half. <laughs> and then promptly forgot to do that. Yep. That's how we do things here. It's a learning experience. How do I get into the middle? Oh, it's Alistar. I, said, I thought it was All Star. I prefer All Star. You didn't give him a follow. For... See, here's the portal to hell. It's obviously a portal to hell, because look at that crazy star on the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That'll do it. That was in his basement? That oh, was in you the beat base. the wizard then? I haven't... No, the wizard's at the end of this dungeon. Oh, he's in the portal. He's in the portal. Running his crazy wizard games. Well, we're following you now, Alistair Dark, because you're helpful you're helpful, us. You're a helpful genie. Yeah. Thanks for the help. You helpful genie. Whoa, what are those? They specters. are specters. Fighting James Bond villains this time. Oh. Damn specters. And we also have ghoul lords. Oh no. How can a ghoul be a lord? Well, I think it's a lord among the ghouls. Yeah, but still. Like, I mean, like he, shit of I see he's got a staff, which yeah. would make a ghoul, like, make but him lord of the ghouls. He's also more of a ghoul wizard, if anything. It seems like a stretch. Uh, I'll let him know what you said. Yeah, please do. There's also a whole bunch of them.
See, this place is hilarious. Look at these goat men. They can't even get through these portals. Oh. So they're just stuck there eating my <laughs> electricity. Stupid goat man. Uh, but I'm I'm not gonna do. That. Let's give our friend something to kill. It'd be funny if I went through there and died immediately. <laughs> Oh, part of the Hell Clan. That Hell Clan. They're on double secret probation. This place is good for level ups, though. Getting lots of experience. And it's pretty safe experience in here. I can always run away to portals. Nice. But this is the spot in the game that speedrunners hate because right here at the beginning, like you come in at the beginning and there's four options of ways you can go. Oh, and, and it's just random where he oh, is. Right. So maybe I chose right or maybe I just waste 10 minutes. Right. And you can waste it, do it four times. Oh, it is brutal. I mean, I don't mind because, like, or like, uh,. Anthem, I'm just getting treasure and experience. Yeah, well, and it's good that it's ra it's different every time. Totally. And then further into this chapter, there you go to Talrash's tomb, and if I like complete this quest properly, I find out which tomb he's in. But if you don't, it's just there's nine tombs. Ah, interesting. Hopefully, you pick the right one. But how do you complete this thing properly? Killing the wizard. You can also just go through the portal instead of killing the wizard. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm not going to do that. I want to kill the wizard. I wonder what the better strategy for a street speedrunning challenge is. Because you're really underleveled when you come here if you're a speedrunner. Right. So it's, so it's I, probably better to skip the wizard and just hope and you hope, get the right door. I hope you get a one in nine. Oh, that's a big... What happens if you get one of the wrong doors? You just do it again. You just yeah. waste time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's not going to kill you. You're just... So it's like, yeah, it's a matter of what is going to take more time. Yeah. Hell clan. I always thought these goatmen are some of the most metal-looking enemies in this game. Yeah. Totally. They don't sound terribly metal. <laughs> I'm excited. Once we beat Diablo and we're on Act 5, I can show off the secret cow level to you. Ah. Yeah. I think you, you know what? It rings a bell. The secret cow level way is... Better, way back on oh, the Oh, we moon. chose correctly. Nice. There's the wizard. It's the summoner is his name. The summoner. Summoner. We're playing Gauntlet again. I do again. feel like way back on the moon, you showed me the cow level. Maybe. For a long time. I've run that cow level over a thousand times, for sure. Oh no! He cursed me! He gave me... Oh, shit. I just gotta do this. What's he summoning? Uh, he doesn't really summon anything. <sighs> yeah. He's kind of a shitty summoner. Yeah, I don't call him a summoner. I think it's one of those, like, self-given names. Of the tomb of Tal Rasha. Hmm. He hangs out in a cool room, but I'd probably put some, like, chairs in a corner. Maybe a <laughs> yeah. Bed. Ouch. Yeah. But I'd like to stream from here. That'd be totally. great. We just need space behind us. Yeah. From our location in space. Yeah, we should just go back to the moon and There we go. We're in the there. canyon of the Magi. And this is the tomb on the symbol, on the Talrash, or the, the symbol we have to look for. Oh. But first... I'm making very good time today, which is weird. Yeah. Last time we played, I was going so slow. Yeah, weird. I don't... Uh, I know we need to get up to 45 strength. Use a pair of gloves I've got. Not there yet. Hey. Where are you going now? Al Rasha's tomb! Oh, you're gonna open it with the staff? Uh, yeah. We have to find the right one first. Yeah. I like the colors of these, like, red and purple guys. 
Purple remains the most underused color in video games. Yeah, it's true. It's striking when they do use it. Yeah. See, the night growers or whatever have been replaced with hell slingers. Oh. They're throwing their hell at us. Yep. Sling that hell. Do you need a sling to sling something? I don't think so. But maybe. It, I guess it is called a sling. I've never thought about it before. I guess you can sling something, though. With your arm? Yeah, you, th you just throw it like a sling would throw yeah. it. Yeah. But is that not just like... Like a lob? I don't think it's a lob. No, it's more of like a... Like you'd throw a shot put. No, not a shot put. A hammer throw. Hammer throw. How do you throw? Oh, that's they, the one that's the shot spin? put with a cane attached or a chain attached to the bottom. That's the one where you spin. Yeah. This is the circle tomb. We could go do it just to get experience. But eh. Who needs circles? This is this is the smile tomb. The smile tomb. Yeah. We could go do the smile if we want. That sounds nice. No. Here we got the square. That's the most boring tomb. Up next, we have... Oh, this is like some kind of sun shape. I feel more skillful. Here we've got some kind of army shape. Hmm. Looking for just a triangle? Yeah, just a triangle. Gonna be the last one. Here's a triangle. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Then lots of checking out tombs today. That's what everyone wants to do in a video game. Oh no, there was one more. It's the double upside down smile. Oh. Yeah. That's pure evil. I guess you could call it a frown. The double frown. But I don't like to think of things that negatively. No. Upside down smile. Let's go tombing! Talrash's tomb! I wish I had something sassy to say about when I got in. This tomb will never be the same. Something like that. I'm a strong, independent woman, and I'll do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Wizards beware, you're in for a scare. That's probably what I should say. Ah, oh, that would have been really yeah. sassy. Ominous, too. Yeah. They'd strike fear in all of their hearts. giant scarab beetles. They'd be effing terrifying. They should have little swords. They should have little swords, yes. Ouch. Hurry up. There you go. Having slowly. Oh golly, I was in rough shape there. Oh now, Hazir, you have to kill the right ones. No 
one you have to kill, man. Oh. Yeah, otherwise he's just gonna keep... The Unraveler. Raising. Yeah, he'll just keep raising his dead friends. Is he a boss or just a... He's just a guy. Just a, guy. Just a real asshole. Ah. Giving me the healing potion thing. I wonder if there's anything they could do to make the gameplay in this more thrilling without making me hate it. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so basic, but if you make it complicated, it probably just is over... Yeah. I don't know. But active reload. What if you could... <gasps> what if you could charge her? Here? Yeah, maybe. They, like, there are, in Diablo 3, they introduced characters that, like, the monk where you would do attacks on someone that would put, like, buffs on them and you would, like, like your thing where you had to detonate them in, in right. Anthem, where you buff them and then you have to use a finisher attack to hmm. do things to them. It's so like a wider area. Yeah, you do have to think a little bit in that, but it's still dead simple. Is this the sorceress's only move, or is it just her best move? This is just her move I use until I get the move I like. Right. I also, once we get to the boss, I'm going to show you another move. Oh. I have one, this spell here, it just looks like I'm doing nothing. Oh. But it lowers enemy health by a third. Hmm. So you just hit them with that, like, six times in a row, and then their health goes way down. Yeah. Spine spawn the mad. Spine spawn. <laughs> Gotta kill spine spawn. Uh, I like spine spawn. Get his spawn spine all his spawned spins all over you. Uh, like I could, I should probably have other skills, but <laughs> I don't know. There's something I love about just having a blanket of electricity. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. It's effective. You got a lot on the line. I do have a lot on the line. I bet any risks. Uh, that's the, I bet this is actually a worse thing to be using. I could be using something a lot more effective, probably. Yeah? Probably. This is the first spell you get in the game. Oh. You just like it because it I've covers just, such a big area? It covers such a big area, and I've just leveled the shit out of it. Yeah. A lot of bad in this. I, don't, I didn't see this guy's name, but it's probably a funny one. Come on back, friend. Need to lure them in here. Are those ghouls? Yeah, they're the minions of Rust Froth the oh, Impaler. They're ghoul lords, though. They are ghoul lords. They're not just any ghoul. But they shouldn't be lords if they're serving the Impaler. That's a fair point. But maybe it's like, uh, he's like the board leader. Maybe they're like a council He's of dual lords. President. Yeah. Rip and kill Rust Froth the Impaler. Oh, he teleported. Ouch. I'm trying to manage potions. It's like these guys don't see that I'm busy. They're rude. No manners. The ghoul lord has failed them. That's the thing, is that upper class lord structure gives them no manners. It, it's too... They just get everything handed to them on a no ghoul platter. No discipline. Kids crave discipline. It's especially ghoul children. Ghoul, ch ghoul kids need discipline. Hmm? Ghoul lords. Let this be a message to all the ghoul lords out there. Discipline your children. The ghouls, the ghoul children need your discipline, mm -hmm. as well as your love and guidance. Yeah, you can probably combine the two. But you can't just let your ghouls, you know, do Run whatever they want. Shod. Yeah, they're going to end up dying in a dungeon to a this lightning a, sorceress. a fun thing. It's just a sarcophagus that endlessly spits out zombies. That's fun. 
Yeah, I would put one of those in my house. Yeah. Right next to a... a, a it's a fountain pop machine? No, I was oh. going to say a, a wood chipper. Oh, yeah. That would, oh, just spin them right into a chipper? Yeah. Yeah, and then I'd put, like, some kind of canvas factory next to it so I'd make beautiful art. <laughs> nice. It's an art factory. <laughs> art factory. That's where all the best art comes from. That's perfect. Zombie art factory. That sounds like a... a Indie CD, an indie album. Zombie Art Factory? Yeah, yeah it does. My magic does so little to this mummy sarcophagus. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. I'm actually legitimately nervous about fighting this next boss. Oh yeah? This oh yeah. Is, you think this is your biggest chance to blow it? So far. This is the, the, the second act boss. So we're almost done this portion of the game and they, they don't really pull any punches. Do you think though because you'll get stronger soon? I don't think I'm going to get stronger in... Well, no, I'm definitely not no. going to get stronger in time for him. No, but I know. But what I'm saying is, do you think... Because you're going to get stronger soon, it will be... Like, the, the next bosses will be easier? Oh, yeah. 100%. Right, so this Especially is Especially like, because the Act 3 boss is Mephisto, and he's a lightning guy. Uh, and because of this staff I found, I have crazy lightning resist. Hey, nice. So he, like, actually won't be able to do anything to me. Um, so this might be, like, the choke point. Where? Yeah, and then Act Four is just hard because it's it was the end of the game. Oh. So it, it but this is probably the spot that right. I'm most likely to die. Right. I, I'll I'm sure I'll say that to you again. <laughs> but for now, this is the spot. Uh oh shit. Uh, you just die. Hey. I'm just trying to turn you. Uh, I I might uh. I thought I was about to die. I was just going to save and quit. <laughs> I do have that option, too. Right. But this is a huge dungeon to have to play through again uh, if I yeah. have. But that's definitely preferable to... All of it. Yeah. So if I'm about to die on the boss, you better believe I'm going to quit. I don't want to lose this character yet. The great thing is they don't even delete your character when you die in this game. They they just leave it on the character select screen and you can't choose. It. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like screw you. <laughs> I need to go to town. Stressing me out. Good day. Good day. Uh uh. Oh, crap. But one thing I can do that will improve our I can go... We're pretty high level for where we are in the game, because we've been playing it with eight players, supposedly. Right. But I can go and gamble on this guy's stuff, and maybe he'll have a nice belt that'll carry a whole bunch more potions for me. <laughs> How do you gamble? The, it, he sells you these items, and you can't see their stats. They're all uh... unidentified. Like, this, if I was a melee character, is an amazing item at this point. Hmm. Like, I can't wear this belt. It's I'm too weak. Ah. That's a great helmet to give my friend. Ooh. I'm too weak to wear a better belt. That's fun. I might. Uh, I'm so. I, uh, I'm just putting off fighting this boss. <laughs> What's her name? It's a guy. His uh, name is Duriel. Duriel. He's like a giant slug. Uh, he doesn't look threatening, but he makes you cold and. Mm. He's a, a, a little chill. Little chill. 
Yeah, I'm ready for the chill though. They call me the Chill Meister. Armachillo? Armachillo, that's what they call me. Wait, no, they don't call me that. I can't steal one of our viewers' names. Yeah, don't steal names, man. I hate these stupid... Uh, I'm stuck. Nope. I was definitely about to die. Wow. Yep. <laughs> so now you have to do that whole dungeon again? Yep. Uh, Welcome to Diablo. I was definitely going to die, though, so... Was that even the boss? No. Oh. Yeah. Why did you blow it? Why did I blow it? Yeah. Why did he attack me so viciously? Uh, that's his job. That is his job, but now I'll be stronger next time I get there. Uh, I'll be way stronger next time I get there, actually. <laughs> I only have to get up to 45 strength, and I'm at 41, so once I get my experience bar at the bottom here full, oh, nice. we'll be a bunch stronger. I could also switch it off of eight players for this, but where's the fun in that? Yeah. I, he does freeze me, so I'm going to grab some thawing potions if I see them. Maybe I can make this happen. a different route this time yeah we still didn't find the exit either wow so. come on Alhazir! You need to kill the enemies that can raise the enemies. <laughs> He's just gonna sit in a corner killing the same frickin' skeletons just again. Yeah, whatever is closest to him. Ah, this is going so bad. All these guys coming from hell? Oh, probably. Yeah, I get indirectly. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh no! Don't die. Al Hazir did. Oh no! Yeah. Is he gone? That's why I yelled, oh no. Oh. Uh, I can go pay money to get him back. Oh. Can't revive him? Oh. I was I'm going to, but then these bastards blocked the, <laughs> the portal. Pit Grin the Grim. Pit Grin. I was watching that Hereditary movie the other day, and the main bad guy in that is a demon named Paimon. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Paimon's gonna get ya. Paimon's gonna get ya. Paimon, spoilers, got his. Well, got what he wanted. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
All right. There it's we like go. the Tio. I should make a horror movie about the Tio. The Tio, yeah. Wasn't he like a god of the mine? Yeah. yeah. He'd be a terrifying god to cross. Exactly. It comes from underground. Uh, yeah. He's I, like a he's like a tremor. I have one experience tremors. with the Tio, and it is pure horror. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, the Tio right. is pure horror. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. It's a scary name too. Exactly. It's a scary looking guy too. Little demon. Oh, the actual I don't think I've seen his representation. Yeah. He's like a little demon guy. Oh, he's little? Yeah, he's kinda little. But he's he just looks itty bitty demon? He looks sad actually. Oh, that's a little scary. Exactly. Definitely looks like he is hungry for souls. Oh, I'm sure. Like, Catholics have a saint for pretty much everything. Do Satanists have a devil for everything? I don't know. I think Catholics do, though. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. They cover both sides. <laughs> I think they do. Huh. Wow, I don't know which way is the right way in this dungeon, but it sure goes for a long time. I'm all lost. Is you, you're still going that alternate way? I'm still going that alternate way. I went this way before toward... Well, I, you can't see where I'm pointing. This, I think this is the right way, actually. So. So many skeletons! Oh, those stupid reviver guys at the back. Getting some shots in on them. You are. And I killed the skeletons fast enough that Al Hazir was able to break through. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, he what do you break. What you're doing poison. with your. Just beating them. They with killed that. Al Hazir again! Oh. I hate this. They're really making me need to want this to get through. Wow. Okay. You're back. Should I kill this? I should just kill this other breaker. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. Just such an annoying run. I should have just kept going. We're almost at a level up. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a new belt and take my new gloves down into the pit with me. <laughs> that you can't wear yet, you but can't wear you yet. will be able to. In just a minute, this is the belt I want. <laughs> Perfect. My new gloves make me cast magic faster. It's going to be exciting. They're yeah. mage fists. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, they make my mana come back faster too. They're That's pretty great. Cool. That sounds great. Superior Dirk is a pretty great <laughs> name. The uh, another funny thing in this game, the Dirk, like every weapon has a unique variant of it. Like the this is the best one of it. The right. unique Dirk in this game is called the Diggler. Oh, get it? Yeah, it's a penis joke. Yeah. Well, I guess not really. A porn joke. Yeah. Or it's, oh, a, it's movie. a movie reference, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to Boogie Nights. To Boogie Nights. That classic porn family movie. It's true. Yeah, the best family movie ever. It's I mean, the, the craziest thing that happens in that movie has nothing to do with porn. The Alfred Molina scene? Oh, I was going to say the William H. Macy mm. doing his that, wife in scene. That one shot. Yeah. That whole, where it follows oh, yeah, him. Yeah, where he just walks through the party. Yeah, that's amazing. It makes... Makes William H. Macy into a scary dude. Yeah. Yeah. Just, guess, uh, he was just anyone pushed, who feels they have nothing to lose. Pushed too far. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that movie since the first time I saw it either. Mm, that's so good. I haven't seen it in a long time. 
It doesn't seem like it's the kind of movie that's fun to watch a bunch of times either. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah? It's pretty, like, the style is pretty amazing. That's true. The music's amazing. Oh, does it have a good sound? I don't remember the soundtrack. Yeah. I need to kill these zombies and then I can put on my new gloves and belt. Oh, man. You'll see a fabulous new lady. In you front already of level up? You just, just leveled up. need yep. to just clear the room. Now I amp my strength up. And I go. Poof! And. Mage fist. Poof! And now I can hold. Ah, uh, it's the same amount of potions. I thought it was more. Oh. Damn. Now we have Mage Fist, though. Look how fast I can cast now. Yeah. I'm excited to fist some mages. So the way this new route was wrong. Wow, I can cast a lot faster. Nice. Ocean. back. Ouch. What was that? A fireball trap. Uh, was it in an urn? In an urn. <laughs> How can you even store a fireball in an urn? With magic, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't... Nothing is out of the realm of possibility in this game. You keep killing these guys that unleash poison when you kill them. Oh, chat happening. For nothing. You guys don't own more than one computer? No. Who would use more than one computer? Well, I guess, yeah, we're playing on two computers right now. It's true. For nothing says one Tal rune plus one Shile rune plus one perfect diamond plus one normal unique armor equals exceptional version yeah. of armor. Yeah, it's true. This recipe and your belt will allow you to hold more potions. Yeah, but we're also not playing on the ladder, so that's not available. Oh no, you can go up to exceptional. You can't go up to elite, but I don't. I, I don't. I don't need it. I'm gonna go without. We don't have any shale runes. We don't have any tal runes. We don't have uh, any. Yeah. Where do you get those? Farming. I could, I could find them both here. Oh right. But I don't. I'm just gonna hope I don't die. Thanks for the tip, though, for nothing. Right. This is one of Grimpen's favorite games it's ever. True. He knows it pretty well. We could have well. played online and then people could have joined in our games. Yeah. But I feel like, I think I've heard that Diablo 2 is pretty full of hacking right now. Or really? Or st still. Huh. People just cheating or trying to hack into your... You can do items, your... you, can, you can do all kinds of things. There are, there are just hacked items where you get this. Uh. At one point there was stuff called the light Thanks gear. for nothing. Well, that's right. your name is for nothing. <laughs> hey, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Uh, I think he did that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, that's just the, wants the pity. Oh, more's the pity. <laughs> People bought. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for nothing for nothing. That's what I would have said. Thanks for I, everything for nothing. Yeah, that, that's what. If I really didn't, if I wanted to say thanks for nothing, I'd say thanks for nothing for nothing. Oh, but you say that anyways. You always say twice as much. Oh, right. So I'd say thanks for nothing for nothing for nothing. For nothing. That's what I'd probably say if That's I was true. saying that. But yeah, I was trying to say <sighs> thanks for everything for Something nothing. Goes on. It's got to be here. It's got to be. It's not here. Where's... Are you looking for the I'm looking the for boss? the room where I put the head to the staff. Oh. But I'm not finding the room where I put the staff. Also, my inventory is wicked full. Uh... Alright, let's go to town. We gotta make some room, because I'm just taking as many potions as I can. What's this mode called where you only have one, like, permadeath? Hard hardcore. Hardcore mode. It proves how hardcore I, I am. I think there be a tag for that. I don't know.
Mm. There's hard mode. This is... I guess this is hard mode, but hard is what you unlock when you beat normal. Well, you unlock Nightmare. Mm. That's a way better name for hard mode. Okay. Going through like every part of this dungeon. Oh, permadeath is a tag. Oh yeah, there you go. Like this move is the, the chain light or the what's it called? Charged bolt that I'm using. It's terrible because it just shoots indoors and you miss most of your shots. <laughs> I was using a real skill here. Okay, fall back, guy. We gotta lure them out. You dumbass! <laughs> oh, a ZR. Those guys' potion is or poison is so strong. Al Hazir is ruining my gameplay. There we go. Just gotta get him in there. Yeah. Of them. Just making me waste all my. Alright, we're uncovering new stuff again. It has to be at the end of this path. <laughs> Is there no other. There's no other path. Oh, man. Yeah. We went through every other option. Every single gosh darn one. Hatchet hands. Hatchet hands. I can't use hatchet hands. Those Plus, you'd have assassins. to cut off your own hands. True. I would be... If I could get reliable hatchet hands, I'd be into it. <laughs> what do I mean by reliable? Like, they wouldn't... No rust. No. St I want stainless steel. I want right. easy to clean. Oh, yeah. Stay sharp. Okay. Reasonable stuff. I'll invest in that for you. Invest in it? Yeah. So like, you'll, like, create a company and... Put some money in and... Make sure it's all legit. Sweet. And then we'll like replace your hands with hatchets. Yeah. Uh, just one. No. Oh. Well, then we'll see. No. Yeah. I'm all in for one hand being mm. a hatchet. I'm only interested in both. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if you can make my hatchet have fingers still. Mm. I have to be able to hold pizza and soup and things like that. <laughs> you can't hold soup. <laughs> you but you can hold pizza still. I don't know. We'll see. I guess compromise is the name of the game. <laughs> potions! Give me potions! Ooh. Unravel this. Mm, go unravel yourselves. I've got to be getting close. There it is. Hey. Remember when earlier when you said you were making good speed? Uh, yeah, that was weird. It didn't happen. It took a turn. 
Oh, uh, the purple ones just both health and yeah. magic? Yeah, and, like, if I drink a healing potion, it takes a while for it to fill up. Ah. If I drink these ones, it fills up instantly. Right. Uh, all right. Stick that stat there, just like Indiana <coughs> Jones. Just like Indiana Jones. Gonna show me where the Holy Covenant Tomb is. Whatever. Holy Covenant Tomb! Holy Covenant Tomb! Holy Covenant Tomb. Batman. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do... Also, the nice thing about the Herodric Cube is I can take three keys. Go poof! And now it's a full rejuvenation hey. potion. So I'm gonna have those two as my last two potions for, like, absolute emergencies. Ah. Um. Ba -ba -da -ba. Hey. Hello. There. Looks like you're prepared. I'm as prepared as I'm ever going to be. Alright, so. Go downstairs. Open a town portal. Is that Duriel? That's Duriel. See, and I used my move to lower his health really quickly. Yeah. Uh-oh. You're so cold. He killed Al his ear. <gasps> A stupid keyboard! Oh shit. Oh no. We're dead. Wow. Game over. Is that, that's the is end. Is that the end of favorite games? See? Oh. That's the end of this one for now. We'll see if I build a character that's further along than her. Oh man. What a twist. Yeah. This so is this is like game, game of Thrones. Pretty much. She's dead. She just died and now we don't know what. So now, if I'm I make doing. a character on my own time and get up to there again. We'll resume as a different character, maybe. All right. Ah! <laughs> it's because I was struggling with this keyboard. Uh, like, I opened my quest log and... Is it the, like, just because it's a keyboard or because... It's a laptop keyboard uh, and my that's... tentacles are all strapped yeah, in weird. It's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Well, that's a thrilling end. What the hell? Oh, you were so close, too. It's a thrilling end to today's episode, at least. I was so close. Yeah. I should have just quit. You cannot create or join games with a dead hardcore character. Oh. No. Gris. Grisly? Grisly Sue. Grisly Sue. She's dead. No. Here, we can create the next character that'll replace her. Mm. Who do you think I should. What class should I try and be? We got an Amazon. We got an Assassin. Ooh. We got the. Ooh. Necromancer. Oh, he loves his skeleton armor. Yeah, and he raises an army of skeletons to do his fighting. That sounds pretty good. We got a barbarian. <laughs> Who can like leap across the map? Mm -hmm. You got a paladin who can like create a vortex of holy hammers. Mm. Fist of the heavens is where it came from. The paladin, the phrase "fist of the heavens." Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the one I just was. Yeah. And then the That's druid nice. who can turn into a werewolf or a bear ah. and summon wolves and crows to fight myself. Cool. I like. I like them. Um, does it not matter? They're all very different, but I can beat it. Right? <sighs> Um, uh, well, like, obviously not. But. I like the assassin, the necromancer, and the druid. Necromancer's the or assassin's the easiest, mm. so I'm not gonna do her. All right. So. The druid then. Yeah. I could do or, or the necromancer. Yeah. I'm just a fan of skeletons and bears. That's the thing. They're both more summoning characters. So let let's do the druid. Yeah. All right. And we have to come up with a good name, like. Oh. How about? Uh, uh, Tricky, Hank. Tricky Hank? Okay, Tricky Hank. Tricky Spank? Tricky Clank? No, nope, that, well, I shouldn't just do a whole bunch of K's. Tricky Hanky. <laughs> Tricky Hanky. Tricky Hanky. That's, that's because of his druid powers that he's so tricky. He's so tricky. Yeah, and I don't, I have to level up before I get any powers, so. All right. When you see this character next, he's going to be level 26. Wow. Yeah. 
That'll uh, be but thrilling. This might be a, a few weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I expect this to be another installment later down the it's line. It's like a different favorite game. Yeah, ah, exactly. What a cheesy, <laughs> dumb bullshit. Uh, and that was a good episode, though. That uh, was a good ending. I'm fine with it. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for all the comments today. We had lots of interesting yeah. people, different people watching. Ghosts. <laughs> and, yeah, Ghouls. demons. Ghoul lords. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with some more Anthem to finish the week and off. And them. And them. Mm -hmm. And I actually will probably play some Anthem tonight, too. You're going to play a little Anthem? Yeah. You're feeling it? You yeah. got the, the, the tick? Yeah. Nice. I got a nice. Now that you're getting night. blues, you could play as your Storm again and find some cool new blue powers for him. Oh, that's true, or too. her? I like to think your Storm is a girl. No, I chose a male, yeah. I, I, every suit's a different gender. Ah, cool. Um, you are the gender of the clothes you wear. Yeah, and I'm going to try to just talk to everybody. Oh, just like... That's what I do when I'm on my own. Right. I talk, talk to everybody. Because yeah. I can't pay attention to them when we're... <laughs> it's true. When both That's a us. fair point. It's both of us. So I'll probably do that tonight. You'll have a talk show. Exactly. Talk oh, with cool. uh, some... Then some tomorrow you can tune in for the show show. Future people. <laughs> exactly. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. Here with Griffin and Friends. Sweet. So, yeah. Come join us tomorrow for the show show. The show of shows. And, uh, yeah. That's how we do it on the show, show, show. Show!